So hi guys, this is going to be fun. This is a video where we're going to look at five different sketches. Um, all painters, artists, who've got a um, very different style, but um, they're all people who are big inspirations for me and all people I think that should be followed more, essentially. Some of them especially absolutely criminally underfollowed. So hi everyone and thank you for joining me. This is a, a really fun video today. It's what I call a high effort video. I don't just get to sit down and paint. I actually had to do some research and some reaching out and some networking and all those, all those other things to find you five artists, five different sketches, um, all painters, artists who've got a um, very different style but um, they're all people who are big inspirations for me and all people I think that should be followed more essentially. Some of them especially absolutely criminally underfollowed. So um, we're going to talk about these artists. First I think a uh, couple of things to mention. Number one, um, if you have other people in mind let me know in the comments, let, let people know, spread the word about people who you know need to be seen more, need to be followed more, who've got amazing sort of art to offer the world. Um, number two, um, Social media is a place which doesn't always do our mental health very well. And the reason is we can be drawn into comparing ourselves. And when we compare, we see our mistakes and we see the other person's brilliance. Um, it's especially the case where, you know, in art, there are people who are just amazing and super productive and they just can put so much out that is amazing. And we can feel like we'll never be as good as them. Well, that might be true. There's always going to be someone who's better than us at something because, you know, there's billions of people in the world, but that's okay. So try to do this kind of comparison in a healthy way, in a way where you're, you're looking, you're getting inspired, um, but not judging yourself for not being able to produce that. Um, so I guess without further ado, uh, let's just dive into it. Our first artist is a chap called Colin Woodward, who goes by Woodward's Watercolours on Instagram. Um, he's a, a really fascinating artist, actually. He, he despite his name, Wood, Woodward's Watercolours, um, he actually does a variety of different media. He focuses, um, uh, in his own words, in painting areas and architecture, so sort of landscapes. Um, and unlike me, he's a properly educated artist. He's got a fine arts degree. Um, in fine art. Um, we actually uh, used to publish together, we haven't for a while but maybe we will again soon, we used to publish some some challenges so you can check out hashtag t uh, draw Toby and Colin's lighthouse and you'll find no doubt a few of our, our lighthouse challenges which used to be pretty popular back in the day so um, good fun to go and try out if you if you fancy uh, a little challenge. Um, going back to Colin's style, he's, uh, what, what I found him years ago and what really drew me in was he's got this fascinating use of colour in watercolours um, where he takes a I think a square brush normally a, a flat edge brush and produces these kind of patches of colour and he layers them up and you can see in these different uh, paintings of him the different way he, he does that he provides uh, texture through layering up colours through sort of dabbing it on and um, it's so different to to how I paint which I think is what makes it so interesting to me but I think it's an amazing way to paint. Um, and you can see that, again, if you look at his other stuff, so he paints in oils, he does monoprints, acrylics, pastels, watercolour pencils, digital, he does everything. And um, he's also incredibly productive, there's loads of stuff. And you can see the same kind of way of applying colour in, sort of in dabs, in, in, in blocks of colour, which overlap and build up. And it's just uh, pretty incredible. Not something I can do at all. So. I love, I love just seeing it, um, feeling inspired and <laughs> having to do my own thing because I, 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 I can't paint like that, um, but very jealous of his skills. The other thing to mention about Colin, he's, uh, he's from Northern Ireland and he does loads of fairs. If you're in Northern Ireland, do go to your local craft fair. You may, may well bump into him. He's also got an Etsy, which isn't just an amazing shop. It's also a place where you can see just so many of his finished paintings. And uh, moving on, we've got Uma Kelka. So she's at, at Uma Paints on Instagram as well. Um, now she's got a very different style. Um, again, so she's she's um, 
big proponent of this kind of idea of direct watercolors. In fact, like, she's probably the uh, the main proponent. The, she's the one at least I hear the most talking about it. And she's got an incredible use of colors to create shapes going straight on the page. You can see in all of these different images, she's got this kind of loose application of color where it looks a bit mad and then it builds up and suddenly it's, it's an amazing image. Um, I actually first found her through an etcher workshop. So she was doing an, an etcher workshop where it was all about painting in night. And we've got an example here of a, one of her night or evening scapes. Um, and you can see, I think, probably immediately why I was like, wow, I, 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 I like this. And I um, started following her and, and seeing her stuff and trying to take some inspiration from her, her methods. She doesn't just do watercolour so either. Again, she's um, multi-talented, very diverse. She's got these really cool little um, gouache miniatures. Uh, she's done loads of these recently. Now she's from North America. So I know a lot of my followers and subscribers on here from the USA, so uh, you may well be lucky enough to get on one of her courses. She does loads of workshops and things. Now I've never been one because I've never actually been to North America. Um, but maybe one day we'll overlap and I will have the joy of doing a real in-person course with her. She, she does have a very lovely teaching uh, sort of style um, and I can say that because I've been on one of her workshops with the Etcher team. Just in the edit, I realised I forgot to mention this book. Um, it's a really great book for if you're interested in digital sketching and it is of course written by Uma Kelga, one of this amazing, oh there it is, one of this amazing um, urban sketching handbook series. So do check that out as well if you're interested in digital sketching. Now if you're interested in finding more about her, uh, just head across to Instagram, she's got a link tree uh, which has got loads of links to different things, workshops etc. Now coming back to British Isles, we've got Ken Young from Scotland, Dalgeety Bay. I'm sure I just uh, pronounced that very badly, but he's an um, another very, very strong artist. So he describes his uh, work as being motivated by love of painting architecture and landscapes, which he does robustly in ink and watercolors. And uh, robustly is, is the word. When you look at his sketches, the bit which I love is um, his really strong, clear lines. So his, his sketches don't have, when you first look at them, it looks like there's not that many lines. And that's because he's got these really bold outlines, especially to the key elements we've seen. But he's also got um, this incredible way of reproducing textures. I um, particularly love how he does trees and bushes and how he does bricks and houses. And it fits, he's got a lot of um, sketches which are sort of up close of a, a towering, well, tower or church or a building. And despite it being quite a flat facade, builds up so much with these simple line works. His colors tend to be really bold um, and sort of, uh, you get this glazed layering effect where he puts on one layer of color and then, well, I'm, I'm guessing I've never seen him paint, but he puts on one layer of color, puts on another layer on top. So you kind of get this feeling of being able to see through that top layer. Again, just absolutely incredible work. And um, although his style is very different from mine, big inspiration, especially um, as I was starting uh, in the kind of line and wash style, just looking at how he used colour and how he used negative space taught me a lot about what I enjoy and what I wanted to do. I've got to say with um, with Ken, he's also very kind with his time. So I've, I've messaged him quite a few times in the past just saying, what's these colours? What are you doing here? What's this? And he's always responded. So um, really, really kind and generous at this time as well. So on now to Gary, Gary Tennant from the north of England, I believe from somewhere near Lancaster in the northwest of England. And now this is a very different style. So um, not something that maybe we often see on my channel, um, very different from what I do with my painting, but um, just have a look at these skyscapes. Absolutely incredible. He is just got this amazing way of uh, blending his colors, of producing perspective in the sky, which just, it's just absolutely stunning. Um, I justify his inclusion in the urban sketching channel because he does a lot of on plein air painting as well, mostly of uh, of rural landscapes. But we can learn a lot um, in uh, seeing just how he uses colour and how he adapts his scenes and how he simplifies them. Um, most often using oils, but also using different media, watercolours, 
um, using oil pastels, combining pastels, ink, watercolour together to create highlights, to create really interesting um, sort of interesting textures, which is something which I love trying to do myself. So again, this this guy, huge inspiration because of this incredible use of colour and incredible use of perspective in the sky and dramatic skies as well. Um, he is absolutely criminally underfollowed. So do go and show your support to him if you like his stuff and you should like his stuff because it is amazing. Even if we can't recreate it, we can look at it and uh, just try and gain some inspiration and think about how we approach colour when you see something this good, basically. And last but definitely not least, we have um, Doug Jackson. Um, so Doug Jackson is um, yet another person from the north of England. Um, so Doug is a, uh, a line and wash artist again. So he uses bold inks. Um, different. We, we talked about Ken Young and his, his use of bold inks. But actually, um, I feel Doug's quite different. He, he often uses a flex nib or a, a feud pen and produces really bold outlines to the key part of his scene. And then uh, some bright and interesting colours on top. And again, a, a, a strong, strong use of negative space in a lot of his paintings. Um, he's not just um, good at landscapes. In fact, it, it, it's probably fair to say he specialises in boats. And he produces amazing boats on the beach, boats on the land. Um, it's a whole different skill in many ways, boats, because they they're just they feel mentally different and... Just if you want any inspiration or tips on how to draw boats and in the kind of liner wash style, definitely check Doug out. But also he's got this amazing way of um, capturing people, simplifying them, making them sort of angular and getting um, planes and using little bits of hatching. It's really clever. Um, it looks simple, but it's, it's not easy to do. I don't want to say most impressively, but incredibly, but certainly very impressively, he raised over £2,300 for charity as well for the Ukraine um, appeal by selling his art, by doing commissions. Um, and he specifically, when I asked him if he wanted to be in this video, he specifically said yes, but please um, let people know that if they want any tips, um, if they want to check his art out and ask him any questions whatsoever, to please head over and do that. So if you want to ask um, Doug any questions, please just head on to his Instagram and send him a message. And he's always, again, so generous at this time that I'm sure he'll be able to answer and give you some help and inspiration as well. And there you go, that's my five people to follow. People who don't already have enormous followings on Instagram, but are incredible in five very different ways um, and that we can get a lot from. Down below, there's links to all the artists and their various sort of places on the internet. Um, go follow them, show them some support. They're amazing and amazing inspirations. Like I said before, you know, social media can feel like a, a pressurised place. It can encourage us to compare. Um, and we don't need to do that. We don't need to compare, at least not negatively. What we can do is, just like we do with our own art, we look and we go, uh, you know, this went well, <laughs> this less so. I enjoyed this, uh, this less so. And we can work out, you know, by that, a positive approach to, to feeling good about ourselves and to developing whilst not getting overstressed. So, when you follow amazing artists, it's easy to get that kind of imposter syndrome or um, compare, feel negative. You know, don't do that. We all feel that way. But what you can do is look and see, you know, what do they do that I really like? What do they do that I think I'd enjoy doing? And then you can experiment and, you know, emulate. It's fine as well, for me at least. I'm very happy for people to copy my, my stuff if they're trying to develop and work out what they want to do. Um, and so if you want to use these you know, use different artists on Instagram and, and just try and work out your style by replicating things that people produced. I'm sure, you know, as long as you're not trying to make money off them and doing it, you know, commercially without, uh, without permission, it's a real honour to have people try and replicate your style. And with that, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below and uh, happy sketching. So hi guys, this is going to be fun. This is a video where we're going to look at five different sketches, um, old painters, artists, who've got a um, very different style, but um, they're all people who are big inspirations for me and all people I think that should be followed more, essentially. Some of them especially absolutely criminally underfollowed.
So thank you everyone for watching my little sketching videos. If you enjoy my content, please do subscribe to my channel because it makes me really, really happy. Thanks again.